clear for the session. Save orientation. Okay. In this part, we know the names of these part in these parts in your skill. Parade is in sight. But what is number two? Number two is a skull. The bones around your brain, the bones in your head is called skull. Number three, ribs. Ribs is the name of the bones in your chest, around your heart and lungs. And then we come to jaw. Jaw is the bone in your mouth. And here's elbow. Elbow is this part. This is called the elbow. You have one here on your left arm and the another one here in your right arm. What is the job of elbow? Elbow joins your hands to your shoulder. This is elbow. And then we have knee. Knee joins your legs together from up and down. It joins them together. This is knee. And then it comes all of the bones in your body, all of the bones in your body is called skeleton. This is a skull, ribs, jaw, knee, skeleton. What is the meaning of a skull? It's a bone vortex the parade. Bone vortex the parade. What is the meaning of ribs? They protect the heart and lungs. What is the meaning of jaw? You can say jaw, you can say jaw, you can say jaw. It has the teeth, and you use it to eat, of course. Elbow, it joins the upper and lower arm. The knee joins the thigh. This is called the thigh. This is called the thigh. It joins the thigh and the leg. Skeleton helps us move. We studied also this part. We know this is these are arteries, the red ones our arteries, <clears throat> here is your heart, and here is your lung. Beans, they carry blood without oxygen. The blue ones are called the beans. Arteries carry blood with oxygen. The heart pushes the blood around the body. The lungs control the air in the body. The brain controls everything in the body. Blood it carries oxygen and nutrients around our body. This is the job of your blood. We need the blood because inside the blood there is oxygen and there are nutrients. And we need oxygen and nutrients to live. The nutrients help us to grow and we take nutrients from our food. When the food is outside your body, it is called the food, the chicken, fish, juice, milk, whatever. But when it is inside your body, it is not food anymore. It becomes nutrients. Now look at this picture. What covers your body? The thing that covers your body, and it is the largest thing or the largest part or the largest organ in your body, is your skin. This is a piece of your skin. This is outside your body, the yellow one. Here, it's outside your body. And there is some hair growing on your skin. And this also skin, but inside your body. And there's also skin. It is the third part of your skin. So our skin has three parts, outside, inside, and the downside, three parts. What are their names? Top skin, middle skin, bottom skin. What is the skin? 
it protects my body from dirt and germs. As you see in the picture, the skin covers our body and it protects us from germs and also from dirt. Okay, Ibrahim, I will come to you, but I finish this part first. The pulp skin, it is outside my body. So this part, which is uh, yellow or something like yellow, it is outside your body. Under the top skin, what is the name of what is the name of the organ under the top skin? It is called middle skin. Middle skin. And it has veins and arteries. Your veins and arteries are inside the middle skin. And then we have the bottom skin, this part, which looks like bricks. This part is bottom skin. What is its job? It connects to my bones and the muscles. Go back to this part. This one. Now, students, I'm going to open your mics and I need you to repeat after me. Students, you can speak now. Mister? Yes. Mister? Well, Mister? If you. Yes, of course. Don't worry about that. Yes, of Stop, Malik al Hadali. This is PowerPoint. It is not in your book. This is not in your book. Stop, Ibrahim. Stop it, Brahima! The, the one who is asking Stop. about... Red, red. Okay, I can manage, don't worry. Just you keep silent, I can manage. The one who was asking about how to say jaw. Listen to this, please. Can you listen? Can you hear that? This is in British English. Yes. And now listen in American English. This means we have, we have two pronunciations. We can say jaw or can say jaw. But there's no jaw. There's no jaw. Mister, I can't hear you. Students, can you hear me? No. Yes. 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 I checked my mic. I checked. I checked my speaker and I checked my headphone and they are working. And I asked other students and they said they can hear me. So check your mic. No, the the sound is talk show. I don't hear. Okay. Listen now. Yeah. This is yeah. the, the first yeah. the first pronunciation. This is birth. This is now listen to the yeah. American pronunciation. Jaw. Yeah. Yeah. Jaw and jaw. Jaw or jaw. So you can say jaw, yeah. it's correct. You can say jaw, it's yeah. correct. But there's no jaw. You can't say jaw. There's no jaw. Okay? It's not anything. You don't what? Anything. You don't say anything? I can't understand what is the meaning of I don't say anything. Uh, I don't say anything. You don't say anything? Anyway. What I need you what I need you to do now with students is to repeat after me. Beans. Beans. They carry blood without oxygen. They carry blood without oxygen. 
Arteries. Arteries. Wait a minute, please. Wait a minute, please. I said that you were a bit after me. I didn't ask you to read. I didn't ask you to say before. You listen to me, then you repeat. Okay. That's how it is working. You listen to me, then you repeat. And I don't want noise, please. Now okay. listen and repeat. Listen first. Arteries, they carry blood with oxygen. Now you repeat. Arteries, they carry blood with oxygen. Good. Where I carry blood with oxygen. Heart. Uh, uh, pushes uh, the blood around the body. Lungs. They control air in the body. They control air in the body. Brave. Brave. Excuse me, we are not playing here. We are not playing here. You say brain without making it long. This is brain, not brain. This is only brain. It is not a joke, my friend. We are not joking around here. You have to follow the rules. It controls everything in the body. Repeat. It controls everything in the body. Blood. Blood. It carries Blood. oxygen and the nutrients around our body. Repeat. It carries our body. Nutrients. Nutrients. They help us grow. They help us grow. Grow. They help us grow. What is this? Is you? Can I go to the restroom? Yeah. Yes, you can yeah. go. Yeah. Okay. Can. Can. Okay. And what is this? This. What is this? What is this, please? Skin. 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 Yes, this is a skin. skin. This is a skin from outside, and this is a skin from inside. This is a I picture. I don't know what to get. This is a picture of a skin from outside. And this is a picture Mr. of the skin. What is side. this, uh, Blake? What is this, Blake? What is this? What? Play this one. Blake. Blake. Yes. Blake. You mean this? No. This. This is germ. The germ. Skin. The What's the meaning of germ? Yes. Germs, like virus, they call they what? make us sick. Mm. No. Okay. These are, the virus. The, these are the three parts of your skin. Your skin has three parts. I would say it, it is called the top skin. Repeat it, please. Top skin. Top skin. In the middle, it is called the middle skin. Repeat. Middle skin. Middle skin. Middle skin. And and the down, it is called the bottom skin. skin. Bottom skin. Bottom skin. Bottom skin. No down skin. 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 How many, how many layers of skin do we have? We have three layers. Three. Okay. Three. Three. Now, now let's study and the job of each layer. Repeat, please. Skin, it protects my body from dirt and germs. Skin protects my body, my body, and dirt and germs. Repeat after me again. It protects my body. It protects my body, my body. From dirt and germs. From dirt and germs. From dirt and germs. Top skin. Top skin. Top skin. It is outside my body. It is outside my body. It is outside my body. Again, outside my body. Again, again, again. My body. Again. Top skin. Top skin. It is outside my body. It is outside my body. Okay.
Okay, look at this picture I see. Is this top skin or middle skin? Top skin. Good. Top skin. Top skin. What? Top skin. Good. What? What? Top skin. Top skin, that's right. Repeat after me. Middle skin. It has it has been and the art. It has been and the art. Yes, uh, yeah. What is it? What is it? It is the word bent and the arteries. What about veins and the arteries? What is their problem? What is your problem with them? No, I see it. I see, I see no. You said no? Okay. Middle skin, repeat please. Middle skin. Middle skin. Middle skin. It has middle been the and the arteries. Can I tell you something? Yes. The, yes. the vents arteries in the picture, mm -hmm. in the middle skin, I see it. You see them, these the lines, right? Yes. Mr. I see unit two. Mr. I see unit two. You said unit two? Okay. Thank you very much. Bottom skin. Bottom, bottom skin. Bottom skin. Bottom skin. It connects skin. to it connects to, to my bones and muscles. Muscles. My bones and muscles. muscles. It connects muscles. to muscles. I don't understand. Connect to my bones and muscles. Stop, stop repeating it, please. Stop repeating. What you don't understand? Me. I, and who are you, please? What's your name, please? Salah al-Din, we said this is a skin. From outside, it's called the skin. And its job is to save your body from dirt and germs. Because of your skin, these germs can go inside your body. You understand this? Yes. Good, okay. Now the skin from inside has three parts. The first part is called the top skin. It is the same as the outside. The same as outside your body. Top skin. This is top skin and this is top skin. What is the job of top skin? It is protects your body from dirt and germs. Where is it? It's outside your body. Now, the next part of your skin is called the middle skin. You can't see it. You can't see it because it is inside your body. It is called the middle skin. What is its job? It has veins and the arteries. Veins and arteries run in the middle skin. It is not in top skin, it is not in bottom skin, it is in middle skin. Okay, Salah? Okay, Salah, we are done with this part. Okay. Now the third and the last part of your skin, this one. Can you see it? I am moving my cursor in it. Yeah. It is so only this is enough. You don't need to say yes, only this is enough. Bottom skin. What is the job of bottom skin? It connects to your bones. Under the bottom skin, there are your bones and your muscles. What connects the skin to your body? The bottom skin connects it. Okay, Salah? Okay, Salah? Did you get it now? Okay. Okay. Now we're a bit of for me, students. Bottom skin. Bottom skin. It connects it to my bones and the muscles. It connects to my bones and the muscles. Now, students, I will ask you some questions about this part. Okay? The first question. Where is your... I don't see it. You want to see what, my friend? What you can see? I don't see it. I see unit two. You see, you see unit two. For arteries and the heart and no, uh, uh, yeah, my friend, can you see this uh, picture? No. Okay, let me share no. it again. Let me share it again. Can you see it now? No. Okay, yeah. Uh, who else in the session? Uh, 
مالك مالك الحضر Can I go on the back? Can you see this? Mm -hmm. No, I can't see. Okay. Yeah, can you see this now? Yes. What? 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 Silence, please, everyone. Silence, or I am going to close the mics. Yes. 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 What? Can you see this? No. No? You can't see anything? Yes. No. I can't see the screen. Wait a minute, please. Wait a minute. Yes. Where are you looking? Are you looking at your book? Yes. Are you looking at your book? What? Are you looking what? at your book? No. Where are you looking? Are you looking at the laptop? Yes, I'm looking. And you can't see this? No. Other students in the class, can you see this? Yes. Yes. So, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes I can't yes. help you. I'm yes. sorry. I shared it and the students can see it. Okay. Yes. Speak. Okay. Yes. Let me make a few photos on it. And then, do some like a bit to have video and share screen. Do some like a bit. What? Do it again. Close it and do it again. Okay. Mister, I go on the back. What about now yet? I see. You can see now? Good. Yes. We said the students, this is a skin from outside that covers your body. We have three parts in our skin, top skin, middle skin, bottom skin. We say that the skin protects your body from dirt and germs. Top skin is outside your body. Middle skin, it has veins and arteries. Bottom skin connects both wounds and the muscles. <clears throat> My question now, is this question is for all of you. Where is your skin? Uh, what can not my body outside your body okay where 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 are veins and the arteries inside uh, middle skin in middle skin, skin. good skin. good what does your bottom skin do bones and muscles Good. Now, now, students, I'm going to open the student book and to tell you which page it is. I'm going to tell you everything. Just page give... 25. Page 25. Please don't interfere. I can manage. You just follow my orders. That's what I'm asking you to do. This is the activity book. Please listen to me. The book. I need, I am going to open it and to tell you which page. What I need you to, what I need you to do is to listen carefully. Connect the black. This is the book of students I need you to open. It is Connect Plus Grade 3. Student book. book, yes. Can you see this? Connect the plus primary three student book. Can you see yes. this? Okay. Bring, this bring this book. Just to give me a second. I will tell you which page. Yes. Yes. I can't even find this book. I can't find this book in my house. You can't find this book in your house. I think yes. I think you you I'm left because you left the book at school yesterday. Oh. 
Okay. System disconnect. Can you read this, my friend? Yes. yes. What is this? What is this book? Connect the plus. Connect the plus student. What is the book again? Is it the student book or activity book? Student book. Again, what is the name of the book? Connect the plus student book. Connect the plus student book. Now you know the book, students. You know which book now? Yes. Good. 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 This is good news. Bidjoat. Bidjoat. It is interesting Bidjot. to ask a Bidjoat. This is a very good question. This is the number of the page. Can you read it? 25. 20. Can, can you see this number? Yes. Yes. yes, yes, now, yes, you yes, know, yes. now you know. Now you know. One yes is enough. One yes is enough. Can you see the? Can, do you know now the book and the page? Yes, yes. Good. Okay, students, I'm going to read. I'm going to read. Do you know what the largest organ in our body is? Do you know what the largest organ in our body is? Is it our brain? Is it our lungs? They're big. No. It's our skin. Our skin. Wow. Our skin. Our skin is the largest organ in our body. And it's very important. It protects us from the sun as well as from dirt and germs. It keeps you cool in hot weather and warm in cold weather. We need to look after our skin to keep it healthy. Our skin has got lots of layers. Look, top layer. This is a strong. Water can't get through it. Middle layer. We can feel hot and cold in it here. This has got blood vessels. Bottom layer. This attaches your skin to your bones and muscles. The sun can damage our skin. We can get sunburn. It's important to wear sunscreen to protect our skin. Do you wear sunscreen? Now students here, he is talking about the skin. He called it top layer, but I called it top skin. He said it's a middle layer, and I said it's a middle skin, just to make it easy for you. Here he teaches you that the skin keeps you keeps you cool when the weather is hot, and it keeps you warm in when when the weather is cold. And you need to keep your skin healthy. How to keep your skin healthy? To put wear sunscreen means to put sunscreen, cover your body with sunscreen when you are going out, like this boy. And these are the layers. Of your skin the one which has hair is called the top skin or top layer the one in the middle which has uh, blood vessels blood vessels means uh, arteries and the veins is called the middle skin and the bottom layer connects your skin to your muscles and the bones now we have some questions i'm going to ask you yes i don't know now we have some no. question and we need you to answer. Malik al Hadari, question number one, please. Please. Okay. Our skin keep us cool in hot weather and in cold weather. You can find the answer here. Read this part, the medical Hadar. Read it, please. Warm and warm. Yes, so we write here warm students. The other one. That's my turn. Number two. Okay. Warm as in cold weather. 
can't get through the uh, uh, can't get through through our, our top layer. our top layer layer of skin. skin. Yes, what can to get through your top layer? You can find the answer here. <clears throat> I find, I find. Yes, what is the answer? Um, can you read this? Water, water. Good. Here, students, we write water. Yasin. Yes. Number three. Number three, okay. We have a book. Uh, in our, in the middle layer of skin. In the middle layer of skin. What do we have in the middle layer? Can you read this part, Essie? Okay. This this has got blood vessels. Uh, so we have got what in the middle layer of the skin? We have got. We have got. This has got we, we, blood vessels. Uh, we have got we what? Have got blood. Is it blood or blood vessels? Okay. I am asking you, is it blood or blood vessels? Uh, blood vessels. Good. <clears throat> Write it here, please, students. Okay. Adam Tamar? Yes, Mr. Number four. Our bottom layer skin is attached to our... Uh, um, the answer is here. Muscle. The answer is here. On the muscle. Can you read it first, please? Okay. This attach, this attach your skin to bones and muscle. So the answer is... Bones, right here, bones, and right here, muscles. No. Yeah. Thank you, Adam. You're welcome. Muhammad Mustafa, number five, please. Yes. Number five. five. We we can get four from. four from. Eh? This word is from. From the sun. 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 